Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials out there. Today I will show you in Adobe Photoshop how you will be able to erase, to disappear, the mist, the haze, whatever you call it, this ugly, not uh, really contrasty photograph that actually, this is the final result, this is the start result. Well, we will start from this one and the end result, it will be something like that. We will disappear the mist from the front of the photograph, uh, from the main actually so, uh, subject of this uh, photograph and we will be able to do it so fast and so easy inside the best program in uh, correcting photographs, Adobe Photoshop of course. So let's start. I will go and I will delete the whole others except the start image i will show you this i will give you also the start image so you will be able uh, to work with me at the same time so underneath in the in the details of the of the tutorial you will be able to download this uh, photograph and work with me so start is the half of everything and so we have to create uh, a copy just for backup reasons okay and afterwards, we will actually work with adjustment layers, filters and masks. Really easy. Don't get scared. It's very easy to learn and work with Photoshop. So uh, I will start uh, from here. I have my background. I don't need to have this active. So I will hide the little eye here. So this layer is not active right now. And uh, my next step is uh, actually the step of the main adjustment, the levels adjustment layer. So, um, you know, a little explanation of this photograph and what the mist actually is. The mist uh, in one photograph is actually uh, the lack of contrast. So if we will be able to uh, bring back the contrast in the photograph, the mist will be gone really fast. So I go back to the levels. I click, double click here in the icon so I could uh, bring back the properties panel. And then I will take this out. I will drag it and I will make it a little bit smaller. I hope that it will be smaller so I could have it here and see exactly, uh, exactly what is going on over here. So I will take this uh, black arrow and I will position it into the start of this uh, iceberg, let's say it. So here you see that already the whole photograph uh, get, uh, got uh, black, more dark in a way. And here I will take the white arrow so I will, uh, you know, reduce this lack of contrast. And right away our photograph looks much more better. Afterwards, I can work with this middle gray area in order to make it more contrasty or more like, you know, misty. I think that uh, the more contrast is my thing right now. So it is uh, 49, let's say 50 for this photograph, 50 uh, point comma uh, 70 and of course 160 over here and we have of course a wonderful better job than before check this out right away the mist is gone and afterwards it's time for play and for party in photoshop so i'll go i will uh, import another one levels but before i do that i will go down here the properties and of course i will take i will select my rectangular marquee tool and i will drag a marquee over here. I want to increase the contrast over here but not in the water so I will actually isolate the levels adjustment here and afterwards I will kind of uh, soften this uh, area with a brush. So I go and I click the levels and right away you see this uh, actually this mask over here it's hidden over here and we will see the result over here. So I go back and um, I will uh, actually click this one, okay? And I will go now, I will double click this in order to bring it out and I will make it more contrasting. You see that I get more contrast in the back of the photograph. 
in the most problematic area I could say of the photo and I think now we are over there we can see the whole river and the whole um, forest in here and we're really happy about it of course we have a dark uh, line over here that separates the uh, upper and the lower part of the photograph so I will take the brush I will select the mask of course I will select a white or a black brush it doesn't matter of course the dark or the bright brush it will give us uh, opposite results I think the white it will be okay the opacity it will be 50% the half opacity of uh, the brush and I will actually soften this area by painting over here so you see that actually we are painting and we actually expand this uh, upper levels um, adjustment but actually we are hiding this uh, really bad line and I think we are very very good afterwards I can lower the opacity even more at about 20 I can now uh, reverse the black now instead of white and I will hide this effect only into the upper of the photo and now it's much more soft it works much more better I will lower the opacity we have to lower the opacity in every layer that we have on top that way we mix them better and you see that it really looking it really looks really really good the start image it was like that the end image is like that I think it's a tremendous uh, big difference and of course we can do it even better I can now uh, merge all those layers together so I will select all those I will go double click and I will go to merge layers great and afterwards I will go and duplicate this one so I have two duplicates of the final image I will go to filter I will select other I will go to high pass and that way we will increase the sharpness of the photograph I think a radius between 10 and 20 it will be pretty enough for every photograph I will hit OK and I will change the blend from normal to hard light and if you look closer you will realize that the photograph it's much more sharper right now check this before the without actually this level this layer you see how soft check this out how hard and how uh, edgy it looks now of course I will lower the opacity again at about 80% uh, and I will merge those two together so merge the layers the final step has to do with a filter that you can find only in Photoshop Creative Cloud versions so I will select it and I will go to filter I will select the camera raw filter and here I will be able to use and work uh, with the camera raw as a filter inside Photoshop it is a wonderful new feature of uh, Photoshop Creative Cloud so I will start and I will play with the settings over here it's very easy to play with those settings I will increase the exposure if I like to make it more bright or dark if you like I think bright it will be much more better without without all that mist around right now the contrast of course it will make it much more contrast if you like I think it needs to be more contrasty super so uh, plus comma 30 over here and uh, plus 30 in the contrast area of course the highlights can be higher plus 30 again the shadows I think they can go minus 30 this time the whites they can uh, stay at about uh, plus 10 of course the settings they are not the same all the time with different photographs we must and we should have different settings the clarity it will make it more edgy if we like or more dreamy if you like it better I think the dreamy looks kind of cute and interesting but uh, it makes me think again of the mist so uh, I don't really think that I will have it so high anyway at about minus 15 maybe and of course the vibrance or the saturation they will increase uh, you know softly or hardly 
the colors of the photograph. I think I really like the photograph uh, almost black and white. So I will not use vibrance and saturation. Afterwards, I will go to here to the detail tab. And of course, I will increase the noise reduction in order to take away that ugly noise uh, from this digital photograph. So I will increase the luminance and the detail and the contrast and the color. Great. You don't have to remember some settings. You just, uh, you know, make your move and see if the, if the noise is uh, disappeared. You have to be close enough to the photograph because if you if you check it from here maybe you will not be able to see the power of the noise reduction i think we are okay right now and of course we will go to the highlights highlights and shadows in the split toning is a very easy way to give a new feeling in the photograph so we can affect the highlights the color of the highlights over here by uh, you know uh, using the hue slider and the saturation in order to increase this color in our photo and of course from the hue uh, slider we can change the color of the highlights i think uh, we need something like that you know just like a misty uh, sunrise on sunset maybe i don't really know i think it is a sunset right now anyway and of course the shadows can be colored a different kind of color so i will go to some blue tones and I will increase the saturation and you see that we have two different colors inside right now the yellow of the highlights and the blue of the shadows of course I can uh, move right now the shadows uh, slider the hue shadow slider and I will take a different kind of result I think uh, I can go again close to the yellow spots in order to make it more golden or to the magenta in order to make it more uh, magic you see that pretty nice i think i like this kind of tone with uh, yellow highlights and red almost uh, shadows it looks pretty pretty good and of course i will go right now to the effects i will increase the grain of course the grain is like uh, a noise but artistic noise i could say so you see that it gets much more artistic, artistic right now. It's like uh, an uh, analog photograph. Looks much more better. Great. And of course, I will double click this one or I will go back so I could see the whole photograph. And of course, I will increase the vignetting of the sides to make it much more dramatic and wonderful. You see how easy we can take uh, a really bad photograph and uh, make it really fantastic inside Photoshop. Uh, even the most uh, misty photograph can be a fantastic poster in your uh, wall or your office right away. So don't throw away your photographs. This photograph uh, used to be like that. Right now is like that. I will hit the OK. I'm really happy of that result. And in a little while we are done. So our first photo used to be this one and the last photo is that one you see how easy how easy and effective photoshop can transform our uh, bad photos into some really great examples of natural photography or whatever you have it so the mist is no long an enemy for us it can be disappeared really easy and really fast inside adobe photoshop if you liked my tutorial please like the video and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, so you could see my new uh, tutorials that uh, they will come the following days so have fun and keep photoshopping